So, you know, John, today so many people are losing their jobs. Um, Mm -hmm. How can we be motivated to move forward? I mean, wow, that's that's a huge. Where do you start? Mm -hmm. Where do you where do you start? Um, Okay, so the first thing I want to start off is by saying that you got to understand that failure. You got to reframe failure in your head. And I think um, everybody who's lost their jobs or you know had their businesses shut down, you got to reframe failure in your head and understand that failure is part of the journey. It is not the destination. And just because mm-hmm. you ended up at failure at this point in your life, you lost a job or, or a company had to shut down and so on and so forth, that's just part of your journey. That's not the destination. And when people confuse the two, that's when they don't find the energy to continue on. Um, and... And I like to share uh, the fact that if you see failure as part of the journey towards a destination, then you want to fail fast. And, and you want to okay. see failure as progress in your journey towards the destination. And the faster you get to a failure, the faster you can move beyond it and continue on that, that journey. So... I, I'm a sort of uh, analogy. I always say, if you go to, if you're going to Penang, then failure might be Ipo. Wow! And if you want to get <laughs> to Ipoh, like, oh, hello. <laughs> failure might be kilometer two hundred and seventy-two. Okay, that is that better. Okay, let's do that Ipoh, one. Okay, I yeah. love Ipo. I love Ipo. Not just example only. Example, but it's just an example. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Example, yeah. example, example. But the Ipoh. destination no, 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 is Penang. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so you, you get what I mean. So then you don't want to avoid Ipo. You, 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 can't, you can't avoid Ipo. But you can't also land in Ipo and say, okay, you know what? I'm never going to get to Penang because I'm stuck in Ipo now. <laughs> I, I, I really... <laughs> sorry, yeah. I didn't realize how badly... <laughs> but it's, yeah, I got, but that we told Ipoh, you, it's like, because Ipo isn't your intended destination. It's just somewhere that you might... Yeah, yeah. You, you know, have to you pass through I mean. anyways, right? Ipo, yeah. guys, you know what I mean. I love you with all my heart. This is just an example. But so you want to you wanna get there the faster you get there, the faster you can move beyond it. Yes. And you can't say, I don't want to start on my journey because I'm afraid that I will have to go through failure. You have to get through failure. It's a part of everybody's journey. So you, you, you want to get there fast. So we say um, now if I've lost my job and I'm trying to uh, apply for jobs and I'm not getting you know, uh, great responses, see those failures as part of the journey. Because here's what's possible. You might find that your successful application comes at application number 372. But Mm. in order to get number 372, you've got to go past 371. Mm. You've got to get, and the faster you get past them, the faster it works. The faster you get to 372. Now, I mean, that's just an imaginary fictional number, right? But the concept is, is, still applies. So sometimes it's the law of numbers. It's just the law of averages. 